So we're just over 15 minutes away from our first race this evening and our first field event. If I just quickly run through the order of events this evening, the, the track timetable reads like this. The 1500 meter races are our first races, they go on at 6 o'clock. We've got seven races over 1500 meters, they'll be followed by the 200 meter races hopefully starting around 7 o'clock and they'll be followed by the 400 metre races and the final track events will be the 100 metre races. We hope they'll be going off around 8 o'clock. The field events, we've got three field events this evening, long jump, shot and javelin and each, each of those three are getting underway in 15 minutes at 6 o'clock. So long jump, shot put and javelin. The long jump is over by the 1500 metre start. The shot put is, is by the 200 metre start and the javelin is on the first bend between uh, the, the finish line and the 1500 metres. So that's our, our timetable for this evening. Um, Tonight it's the third of the series of races that we've had here at Worthing over the past month. It's the third and final in the series. As you many of you were here in August for the first two in the series on the 11th and 18th of August. And we've got a great evening for the final event in the series, probably the final major event, track and field event in Worthing this summer. Those of you who want to phone your friends or other members of the family to tell them how they can follow the events live, they can follow it live on YouTube and on Facebook. So the, the YouTube link you need is youtube.com forward slash film my run youtube.com forward slash film my run and we are live on youtube as i speak and on facebook if you go to the worthing harriers facebook page we will also be live on the facebook page so Facebook and YouTube are live streaming the events and also you'll be able to catch up on all the events either late this evening or in the coming days. So I, I mentioned that we've got some really good events, really good races in store. Uh, the first event is going off at 6 o'clock for 1500 metres. We've got seven races. And the organisers have, have put up £100 prize money for the fastest male and fastest female this evening. And we expect those athletes to come in the, in the later races. Um, we start with the, the younger athletes at 6 o'clock and then move on to the older athletes and the, the faster athletes. Uh, between half past six and seven o'clock, and I'll be introducing the athletes as we come to each event. So I will, I'll come back onto the microphone in about five minutes and introduce the athletes in the first race, the 1500 metres. If you are in the 1500 metres in either the first, second, or third race, you should already be warming up and slowly making your way over towards the start with the first race due off, as I say, in just over 10 minutes' time. Likewise, if you're competing in any of the field disciplines, the long jump, shot and javelin, all of those events are getting underway now, so please make your way over to those respective areas.
one uh, ad admin announcement is that if you've been given the number 637, 637, could you come back to the registration area where I'm speaking from? Uh, we just need to check that number, 637. That asks me if they could report to the registration tent. Thank you.
I haven't seen him yet. So Mum's coming over just to do the marksman for the player. Vincent Pegley and Lewis Wilby. Those are the 12 athletes for the first race this evening, the 1500 metres. We've got under 13, under 15 and under 17 athletes in this first race. So Ben Power from Brighton Phoenix, still in the lead as they go through the finish line for the second time with two laps to run. In second place, Sophia Akilane, one of the leading athletes. And in third place, Tani Ramuta from Ryan and Hope. There's the first three, as they approach 800 metres. So through 800 metres in 2.46. So pace has slowed a bit, as you'd expect, on the second lap. Into the headwind down the back straight. And there's a group of about eight athletes together with 600 metres to run. So the two Worthing athletes, Leila and Lily Helia, have moved forward. Give them the cheers, they come down the home straight. Just over a lap to run, and Ben Power is still in the lead. Lily, Power, Lily Helia in second place, followed by Leila Helia. So the two sisters from Worthing are getting away as they go through three laps. 300 metres to run. Ben Parr being overtaken down the back straight. into the home straight together, 120 metres to run. Give them a cheer. Our first race. So, 
Sophia Aquilande coming home third class from Brian Felix. from Brighton Hove, Amy Harvey from Crawley, Samuel Soprastanov from Crawley, Joe Towler from Worthingham District, Sophie Packham from Brighton and Hove, Evan Hardy from Windsor Slough, Eton and Hounslow, Alice Cox from Crawley, Benjamin Chambers from Worthing and District. That's one of the Crawley athletes who's gone straight to the front. This race, we've also got a mix of age groups, under 13, under 15, and under 17. We'll try and identify them for you as they come down the home straight for the first time. So, field being led by the Crawley athlete, Amelia Cox. Cox and Crawley going through the first lap in 73 seconds. meter race. Still in the lead, Amelia Cox from Crawley, she's an under 17 athlete. The 
2.38 at 800 metres. Benjamin Brown from Eastbourne Rovers alongside uh, long-time leader Amelia Cox from Crawley. And the Worthing athletes in third place is Anthony Chambers. So into the home straight for the penultimate time. Just over 400 metres to run. Five athletes together. Benjamin Brown from the team members. Exactly. So if they could run a 60 second 300, we might see our first athletes under five minutes this evening. So the Crawley athlete Samuel Skrostanov has taken the lead with 150 metres to run. from Worthington District in third. Those are the top three athletes as they come into the home straight. Being led by Samuel Spostanov. Very good finish. from Brighton and Hove, he's a senior athlete. Harriet Law from Lewis, Millie Dickinson from Brighton Phoenix, Poppy Palmer Mallings from Brighton Phoenix, Alexander Riley from Brighton and Hove, Alan Rolfe from Eastbourne Rovers, Olivia Breed from Brighton Phoenix, Summer Chapman from Windsor Slough and Eaton, Caroline Hoyt from Arena, Theon Omurchu from Brighton and Hove, and Edie Yelling from Brighton and Hove. That's the field of 12 athletes for our third race over 1,500 metres.
athletes coming into the home straight for the first time. They'll have three laps to run when they go through the finish line and a very fast pace being set. By Finn and Murchie, Brighton Hope athletes. So Finn Omerchu going for a very fast time, 64 seconds opening lap, being pursued by another Brighton Hope athlete, Alexander Riley. So two Brighton Hope athletes in the lead, Finn Omerchu and Alexander Riley. second pace which would still be a very fast time if he can maintain his pace through to the finish they've got 600 meters to run Tarragano being overtaken, looks down the home straight by Alexander Riley. A great finish by Alexander Riley.
are on the start line. Well, I'll quickly go through the start list. Archie Rolls from Brighton and Hove. Henry Yelling from Brighton and Hove. Miles Waterworth from Crawley. Charlie Wright from Lewis. Ravi Clark from Brighton Phoenix. Joshua Dunn from Chichester. Olivia McDonald from Worthingham District. Ruby White Wilding from Lewis. Lauren Wormley from Crawley. Charlotte Wormley from Crawley. Finley Jones from Brighton Phoenix and Barney Hastings from Lewis. Those are the 12 athletes entered for our fourth race over 1500 metres. Off now. athletes entered in this race who are under 15 and we've got a under 20 athlete, two under 17 athletes and under 13 athletes. All of them I'm sure chasing their best time over the distance, maybe some of them running for the first time over 1500 metres. So it's the Brighton Hove athlete, Henry Yelling, who is Leading athletes through down the home streets, followed by Arch Rolls, and Finley Jones in third place. Another very fast start to the race, 66 seconds. So if they were to maintain that, that would take them under 4 minutes and 10 seconds. But I think we can expect they're going to slow down a little bit as they go into the second half of the race. The race being led by Brighton Hove athletes. Henry Yelling in the lead with 18 metres to run. And Jordan Archer Rolls in the third place. Billy Jones and Ryan Phoenix in the fourth place. Charlie Wright from Lewis and in fifth place. Miles Waterworth from Gordon. Those are the first five athletes as the athletes go through 800 metres with 218 to 19. So still a very fast pace. Three athletes clear. Two Brighton Hove and one Brighton Phoenix athlete. Those are our first three athletes with 600 metres to run. Still Henry Yelling from Brighton Hove in the lead. In second place, Archie Rolls. And the Brighton Phoenix athlete in third is Finley Jones. 500 metres to run. So give the athletes a cheer as they come down the home straight for the ultimate time. It's still in the lead in the second place. Archie Wright is in third place. In the Jones in fourth place. Waterworth and in fifth place Charlie Wright. Seven one seven one one. Olivia McDonald going through on the two twins from Gordon Lowe and Shark Road. 
at the front of the race, 200 metres to go. And it looks like it's a battle between the two Brighton & Hove athletes, Archie Rolls and Henry Yelling. In third place is still Finlay Jones from Brighton Phoenix. So a good finish, very close. Henry Yelling and Archie Rolls. And it looks like it's Archie Rolls who's going to take the lead. Real time for Archie Rolls. Stop it, Lee! Henry Yelling. Stop it, Lee! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Quickly, Gemma Kersey from Battledon AC, Almas Naruka from Brighton Phoenix, Leah Harris from Worthingham District, Thomas James from Crawley, Thomas Kinby from Crawley, Raphael Rivero Stevenet from Windsor Slough and Eton, Henry Teague Smith, Worthingham District, Archie Guppy from Lewis AC, Lucas Harbour from Worthingham District, Luke Newton from Crawley, Liam Stone from Windsor Slough and Eton, and Adrian Haynes from Crawley. Those are our 12 athletes entered for our fifth race and the athletes are ready on the start line. Two Crawley athletes who go straight to the front. Thomas James and Thomas Kimber. Both of them have run very fast over 800 metres. Thomas James has got a best time of 4.16 for 1500 metres. Thomas Kimber has got a best time of 4.25. Four athletes just being overtaken now. Stevenet in the lead, followed by Thomas Kimber and Thomas James from Crawley. In fourth place, Lucas Harbour, Worthingham District. So just over two laps of the race to run. It's still Rafael Rivero Stevenet in the lead. In the second place, Thomas James in third place. Thomas Thomas James is 
taken over the lead again. Go doing 2.16. Timber. In third place, Alma Saruka. In fourth place, Rafael Rivero Stevenet. And in fifth place, Liam Stone. They've got 600 metres to run. Remember, we're looking for our fastest male athlete and fastest female athlete. Give the athletes a cheer as they come into the home straight for the penultimate time. It's the two Crawley athletes leading the athletes through. Thomas James on his shoulders. Thomas Kinder in third place. Armas Maruka in fourth place. Thomas Kimber in the lead with 200 metres to run. In second place, Thomas James. In third place, moving into third place, I think that's Liam Stone. And in fourth place, the Worthington District athlete, Henry T. Smith. Into the final straight. And that's Thomas Kimber. Coming home to win this race, Thomas Kimber from Gorley in second place, Thomas James. Rolls in 4.22 with Henry Yelling second in 4.23 and Finley Jones third in 4.33. We're now moving on to race six. I'll introduce the athletes as they run down the back straight. This is race six of seven of our 1500 meter races. So this is an all-male field, Ned Potter from Bognor and Chichester, Thomas Walker from City of Portsmouth, Charlie Kershaw from Windsor Slough and Eton, Alfie Spear, Windsor Slough and Eton, Atticus Smopey Daboni from Brighton Phoenix, Ben Connolly from Brighton Phoenix, Alex Yego from Arena, Oliver Emmons from Windsor Slough and Eton, Paul Howard 
from Brighton Hove, James Dix from Arena, Harvey Grant from Brighton Hove and Craig Halsey from Brighton Hove. So down home straight for the first time, with three laps to run. We have caught up from Bob Lynch's reserve. Another very fast first lap. So Ned Potter from Bogner and Chichester leading them through five meters. Two and a half laps to run. I'll give you the top three in our previous race. That was won by Thomas Kimber in 4.14. Thomas James, second in 4.16. And Henry Teague Smith in third in 4.16.7. So the two runs still in the lead. Second place in Thomas in 2 minutes 10 seconds. And he's now on the shoulder of Atticus Mahopi but Daboni from Brian Phoenix. So those are the, fir the first four athletes as they come into the home straight with 500 metres to run. So, Ned Potter, will be overtaken. Remember, our, our fastest time so far this evening has been 4.14.3. So the athletes are chasing that, that fast time recorded by Thomas Kimber in our last race. And it's Atticus Mahopi Daboni, who are leading athletes into the home straight in second place. Ben Connolly, also Brian Phoenix. Atticus Mahopi, but Daboni striding away. Second place, Ben
of our final 1500 meter race this evening. I introduce them as they head down the back straight. Just to give you an idea of the calibre of the athletes, the fastest athlete in the field today is the Brighton Hove athlete Thomas Niner, who has run 3 minutes and 48 seconds as his best time. So our final 1500 metre race gets underway. Thomas Niner. Tom Eames from Brighton & Hove, Will Barnicott from Windsor Slough & Eaton, Dylan Spencer from Windsor Slough & Eaton, Leo Brewer from Brighton & Phoenix, Ollie Johnson from Brighton & Phoenix, Joshua Burgess from Lewis, Liam Dunn from Chichester, Ruben Hoyt from Brighton & Phoenix, Toma Tarragano from Brighton & Hove, Jack Woods, Worthingham District, Mark Burchett from Worthingham District. Those are our 12 athletes for our final race. So, Tova, Caroline, Brian and Hove, Ollie Johnson, the Athletes, the third place. The third the third place. 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 Well, as I say, a number of these athletes have run under four minutes for 1,500 metres. Tom Eames has already recorded 1.51 for 800 metres this evening. It's his first 1,500 metres of 2020. But the field still being led by Toma Taragano. Toma ran 358.91 London just under two weeks ago. And in second place, Ruby District Athlete Jack Woods. In third place, Brian Phoenix, Ollie Johnson, going through 800 metres in 208. So they're very constant pace, 64 seconds. Tom Eames moving up onto the shoulder of Toma Taragano with just over 600 metres to run. <laughs> 64 second pace is 4 minutes for 1500 metres and Tom Eames has moved into the lead with 500 metres to run. So, down the home straight, 450 metres of the race remains. Tom Eames from Robert Ryan Hove in the lead. Through, coming up to 1200 metres. And it's Tom Eames stretching them out as they head down the back straight. 312 at 1200 metres. So Thomas Nina from Brighton Hove stretching out, being followed by Tom Eames from Brighton Hove in third place. Will Barnicker from Windsor Slough Eaton. Those are the first three athletes. Tom Nina. Tom Nina, put your hands together for our. Leader, Tom Nina from Brighton and Hove in second place. And down the home set, Tom Eames and in third place.
that we're going to try and get them off in quick succession. I think the first race is due off in about 10 minutes time and then we'll try and get the following races off every three or four minutes following.
Let, let me up, update you on the the long jump competition. Noel Butler led the the first pool that's just finished with a jump of 6.34. In second place was Massey Campbell with a jump of 6.09. Third place, Amber Purcell, 5.18. Fourth place, Scarlett Margaroli, 4.14. Sorry, I think fourth place Ella Macarara, Macara, and in fifth place Scarlett Macara, Margaroli, and Libby Froome with jump of 4.14. Those are some of the leading results in the long jump pool A that's just finished. So we're just about to get underway with our 200 metre races. Could I just ask the athletes at the start of the home straight to clear the track. We have got athletes running 200 metres and some of the races will be using some of the outside lanes. So if you're down at the start of the home straight, could you make sure that that is clear for the athletes who are going to be racing over the next half an hour or so?
I think I've just about got time to give you the top few results from the final heat of the 1500 meters those of you who are not following it on the just timing site Tom Nina won it in 353.43 second place Tom Eames Brighton Ho 355.00 and third place Dylan Spencer Windsor Slough Ethan Hounslow 356.16 4th place, Toma Tarragano, Brighton Hove, 357.37. 5th place, Will Barnicot, Wind Windsor Slough, Eaton Hounslow, 358.39. In 6th place, Jack Woods, Worthing and District, 359.10. 7th place, Mark Burchett, Worthing and District, 4 and 3.7, sorry, 4 minutes, 3.77 seconds. 8th place, Liam Dunn, Chichester, Runners 4 minutes 3.86 seconds. Ninth place, Lewis AC athlete Joshua Burgess, 4 minutes 4.63 seconds. And 10th place, Ollie Johnson, Brighton Phoenix, 4 minutes 6.75 seconds. Those are the 10 athletes and the, probably the, the 10 fastest male times this evening in our final heat of the. 1500 meters which finished about 1500 meters sorry 15 minutes ago so we're now moving on to our 200 meter races as I mentioned a bit earlier we've got 13 races and most of the races have got five athletes we'll be using lanes two three four five and six the athletes have been seeded And our first race due off in the next few minutes. The start list is Bailey Wright from Eastbourne Rovers, Anton Bachorski from Tunbridge AC. In the middle lane, lane four, Andre Wright from Medway and Maidstone. In lane five, Matthew Overall from Crawley AC. And in sixth place, Moyo Sargent from Eastbourne Rovers. So our uh, first 200 meter heat. Four athletes. I think we're missing lane three. Bailey Wright on the inside from Eastbourne Rovers. In lane four, coming down the middle, Andre Wright from Medway and Maidstone. Lane two in the next heats, Bailey Smith from Team Synergy. Lane three, Harry Osborne, Medway and Maidstone. Lane four, Ethan Muirhead, 
Worthing and Districts. Lane 5, Piers Lockwood from Lewis AC. And in the outside lane, we expect the biggest cheer of the night from the race organiser, the event organiser, who is also down to run in lane 6 of this heat, Gavin Stevens from Worthing and Districts. So our second heat over 200 metres, just about to get underway. Underway, we've got four athletes, two Worthing and District athletes. So, Gavin Stevens in lane six, but it's the
that takes away first time. In the middle of the field, Ethan Muirhead coming down in lane four from Worthing and District. For Alex being overtaken by Ethan Craven, the Worthing and District athlete, Ethan Craven, under 17 athlete, taking a very good win in a third heat. Times will come up on the screen. They are so Ethan Craven, local athlete from Worthing District, in first place, 22.99. Hello, can you do that thing then for me? I can't seem to log on. So can you do the number two? Oh, okay. Those the top three athletes in race three. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, great. All right, thank you. Right. Okay, so we're just about to get underway with heat four of the 200 metres. The athletes going to their blocks. Looks like we've got four athletes in this heat. So the athletes are underway in heat four for 200 metres. On the inside, Noah Barwis, Wesley Stoner, Reese Spins, and Jamie Arnold into the home straight. And it's the Worthington District athletes, Reese Spins. Reese Spins winning that. Place. Jamie Arnold from Brighton O. And officially the time 23.36. And the official times will come up on the big screen. There they are. Reese Green has given a time of 23.35. Reese is an under 17 athlete. I think that's the season best time. So Reese wins in first place, Jamie Arnold in second place in 23.61. And Wesley Stoner of Worthington District in third place in 23.81. The winning time again for Reese wins 23.35.
Okay, so we're just about to get going with heat five. Next heat on the far side of the track. The athletes. waiting for the orders from the starter to move to their box. This is heat five of the 200 metres. So away first time, six athletes in the race, and it looks like it's the Crawley athlete, Daniel Persad, who's gone off very fast in lane five, but now being chased down by the athlete in lane three, Louis Dixon. So a great win there for Louis Dixon, under 20 athlete from Ryan and the So the next race, race six on the program of 200 metres. We've got five athletes on the start list. Dylan Rudenell from the Eastbourne Rovers in lane two. Danny Justiniani from Brighton the Hove in lane three. Caleb Purdy, Brighton the Hove in lane four. Rudy Crowell from Brighton the Hove in lane five. And Victoria Anna Crawley AC goes in lane six. Those are the five athletes in heat six of the 200 metres. The athletes now on their box. So it's got five athletes. They come into the home straights. It's Danny Justiniani. So Danny Justiniani wins that one. It's like Victoria Anna, the Corey athlete in second place with a winning time around 23.8 seconds. Yeah, so Danny Justiniani 
If you're wondering where the female athletes are, well, they are coming in heat nine onwards. So we've got two more all-male races, races seven and eight, and then we've got the female heats. Five of those starting in just over five minutes time. Okay, so just about to get going with race seven. Five athletes on our start list. Russell Whiting goes in lane two, Worthington District. In lane three, Oscar Prager from Tunbridge AC. In lane four, Kevin Craven, Worthington District. In lane five, Joseph Campbell from Brighton the Hove. And in lane six, Joe Bass from Southampton Athletic Club. So we've just got four athletes and they're away cleanly, coming round into the home straight. So the Southampton athlete, Joe Bass, leading them home. Followed by Joseph Campbell, and the two so Joe Bass, under 17 athlete from Southampton, wins that race in a time of 24.54. Second place, Joseph Campbell, 24.95. Third place, Russell Whiting, 25.27. And in fourth place, Kevin Craven, 25.27.
Okay, so race eight of the 200 meters is shortly to get underway. Just before that, I've got an announcement. If anyone is here and is struggling to find their wallet, a wallet has been handed in. If you have lost your wallet, please make yourself known either to the reception, sorry, registration tent, or um, you can come over to me and we'll see if we can get it back to you. If you've lost your wallet, please make yourself known to one of us. Race 8. Five athletes entered and they're on their box. So all five athletes away cleanly. We've got two Southampton athletes, James Mitchell in lane two and Tom O'Dell in lane five. And in the middle of the field, worthy and district athlete Jordan Aconte. But they're being led by James Mitchell from Southampton. Second place, his teammate Tom O'Dell. Both under 17 athletes. So on the screen, by the finish, you can see the results of heat eight, run by James Mitchell in 25.29, second Tom Adele, 25.65, third Jordan Aconte, 26.02, fourth Louis Siemens, 26.45, and in fifth place, Barry Morris, 27.63. So we now move on to the women's heats. We've got five heats for the women. No cash prizes for 200 metres, but we want to see how fast the women can run over 200 metres. The county record for Sussex over 200 metres is held by Kimberly Baptiste, who ran a time of 23.24. Although I have a feeling that there are Sussex athletes who might be able to run faster than that. But the current county record is, is held by Kimberly Baptiste from 2018. 23.24. That's the senior record. with the Crawley athlete Carly Wenham holding the county records for under 20, under 17 and under 15 over 200 metres. So our first women's heat, heat nine. So away cleanly. So we've got Jessica Lister from Crawley. Isabel Stanger from Crawley. And that is 1.25. 
one by the Corner Athletes. Seven, three, three. So Holly Kerno. Sorry, Holly Turner. I'm sorry, we didn't have the names for that. It's Holly Turner, the glory athletes coming home first. So we're just trying to correct the results of that last heat. And the winner was Holly Turner. Holly Turner in a time 24.62. In second place, Isabel Stander in 26.00. Third place, Jessica Lister, 26.04. And in fourth place, Beth Crocker. 26.91. So, the next heat, we want three athletes starting this race. So Winterslow and Eaton athlete Anna Babis in lane five. So moving there for the Winterslow Eaton Hanso and the 15 athlete Anna Babis. And in second place. The Medway and Nathan. And in third place, Ger Holly. Two times up on the screen, Alan Babis winning in 26.50. Second place, Abigail Walters, 27.15. And in third place, Ger Holly in 27.34.
Okay, so three more heats over 200 meters, and then we move to the 400 meters. So if you're entered for the 400 meters, we hope to get those races going in just over, or just under 15 minutes time. And race 11 of the 200 meters. Looks like we've got all four athletes in their lanes. Lucy Adele from Reading AC. Kira Patterson Jewell from Brighton and Hove. Lane 5, Rosie Cornaval from Lewis AC. And in lane 6, Ruby Chalice from Brighton and Hove. As the four athletes entered for the next heat, race 11 of the 200 metres. So on the outside in lane six is Ruby Chalice. Winning in 27.17, second place Lucy Adele, Reading AC under 20 athlete in 27.53, third place Kira Patterson Jewell, under 17 athletes in 28.47, and in fourth place Rosie Cornerbow, under 15 athletes in 28.56. So well done to those athletes. As we move on quickly to race 12. Two under 13 athletes in this race, Caitlin Harvey and Harriet Medlin. Harriet from Tunbridge AC and Caitlin Harvey from Kingston AC. And two under 15 athletes in lane two, Caitlin Spencer from Eastbourne Rovers. And in lane six, Molly Barrett from Brighton Hove. And in the middle, lane four, Scarlett. Margaroli from Brighton Hope.
So all five athletes away cleanly. Round the bend. Looks like the Tonbridge NC athlete, Harriet Medlin, to lane five. Being chased by Scott and Raleigh. Very close finish. Well, that was a close finish. Possibly Caitlin Harvey, the Kingston AC and Holly athletes, might have just got it on the line. So, a very good win for the under 13 athlete from Kingston AC in what I think is a season's best performance, 27.95. As we move on to our final heat over 200 metres, starts ready. The five athletes entered for this race. But just four athletes starting the race with the Southampton athletes in lane six running. Blind on the outside. And it's the South African athlete Elizabeth Butcher who's got a clear lead to come down towards the finish. So a win for Elizabeth Butcher from the Southampton Athletic Club. Second place, Zoe Wright from Lewis AC. And we'll wait to see the times that come up on the screen. That concludes our 200 metre races. And we move on now to our 400 metre races. So there are the times on the screen. The race won by Elizabeth Butcher from Southampton Avenue Club in the time of 29.94. Second place, Zoe Wright from Lewis AC, 30.30. In third place, Amelia McGurk from Chichester Runners in the time of 30.45. Fourth place, Rachel Hopwood from Chichester Runners in the time of 31.57. So we now move on to our 400 metre races. And we've got four, four heats of 400 metres. And then we will move swiftly on to our Peter races the final trap events this evening. So four 400 meter races followed by uh, 100 meter races. On the far side of the track, the long jump competition is still going on.
to Swan further call for the lost wallet. If anyone is here and thinks they have lost a wallet, they should make themselves known to the people at the registration tent, the black tent, halfway down the home straight. And we'll see if we can reconnect you with your wallet. Okay, so the athletes getting ready for our first heats over 400 meters. If you're a follower of athletics, you will know that Sussex has a strong tradition over 400 meters. And if you want want some evidence of that, I only need to tell you that the men's records over 400 metres, these are the county records, are held by Sean Baldock, former British international, and the county records for men under 20, under 17, under 15 are now 46, 48 and 50 years old because they're all held by an athlete known as Steve Ovet when he was running in Brighton and Hove colours. And on the women's side, the county records are held by none other than current British international Amber Anning who has run 42.18 seconds, according to my 
52.18 seconds, sorry. That was a Freudian slip. 52.18 seconds is the county record for Sussex. Amber ran that in Sweden last summer. And Amber also holds, holds the county record for women's under 20 and under 17. So we're just about to get going with the first heat over 400 metres. Six athletes on the track. So five athletes in the race, Ollie Francis in lane one, the Crawley athlete. In lane two, Bradley Eisnor, Eastbourne Rovers. Lane three, Jason Hoyle, Thames Valley Harriers. Lane four, Worthington District, Charlie Baldwin. And I think the fifth athlete is the Tunbridge athlete, Zach Beastie. So Luca. So that's looks like that's Jason Hoyle from Tens by the Harriers. Coming home first. And in second place. I think that was the worthy athlete, Charlie Baldwin. An official winning time, 48.23. Uh, the results on the screen, Jason Hoyle winning in a time of 48.21. Second place, Charlie Baldwin, 49.85. Third place, Luca Big, 50.03. Fourth place, Bradley Eisnor. 52.37 in fifth place, Ollie Francis, 56.67. Uh, very good time for the Tennis Valley Area athlete Jason Hoyle, winning our first heat in 48.21 seconds. So the athletes entered for race two. In lane one, we've got Jack Woods from Worthington District. Lane two is missing. Lane three, Marley Big, Brian Phoenix athlete. Lane four, Archie Sloan, work in the district. Straight, that's Marley Big. So 
So round the top end, still the Brian Phoenix athlete, Marley Big, in the lead as they come into the home straight. We are taken now by Archie Sloan. Good win there for the Worthing and District athlete. Archie Sloan, second place, Marley Pig. Unofficial winning time 51.74. So on the screen are the results of the Heat 2, the theme. Won by Archie Sloan in a time of 51.75. Second place, Marley Pig, 53.27. Third place, Jack Woods, 54.61. Fourth, Jack Milnthor, 55.27. And in fifth place, Paul Howard, 55.29. So our third 400 metre race, athletes now coming out onto the track. Looks like we've got five athletes. Six, sorry. Six athletes in race three. So Rose Chaplin, Eastbourne Rovers, goes in lane one. Erin Bracknell from Corley AC goes in lane two. Billy Dickinson from Ryan Phoenix goes in race in lane three. In lane four, Madison Sawyer from Victor East Coast. Lane 5, Louis Goodwin from Louis AC, and in lane 6, Poppy Oliver from Corley AC. Race 3 of 400 metres. So six athletes in our third race. We've actually got three under 17 athletes and three under 20 athletes in this race. It looks like it's Louis Goodwin, the Louis AC athlete who is leading them round the top end. So into the home straight. And it's the... Yeah, that's a win for Louis Goodwin from Louis AC.
Official winning time, 56.43. So in first place, Louis Goodwin, 56.40. Second place, Lucas Harbour, 56.99. Third place, Millie Dickinson, 60.7. Fourth place, Poppy Oliver, 61.21. Fifth place, Erin Bracknell, 62.10. And in sixth place, Rose Chaplin, 63.40. So our final race over 400 metres, got four athletes with names one and two vacant. Alexander Virchel goes in lane three, Chloe Errington. In lane four, Adrian Weston in lane five and David Spencer in lane six. So Wade Peely, final race of our board of race races this evening. It's the two athletes on the inside. That's Alexandra Birchill from Southampton and Chloe Errington also from Southampton. Who are fighting it out with 200 metres to run. So, as they come to the finish, it's a very close finish between the two Southampton athletes. And it's won by Chloe Errington with Alexandra Birchill, her teammate from Southampton, in second place. Includes our 40 meter races, a good win in our final race for Chloe Errington in a time of 62.10 seconds. Second place, Alexandra Birchill, 62.26. Third place, Adrian Weston, 66.30. And in fourth place, David Spencer, 67.31. That moves us on to our 100 metre races. We've got a number of heats and we want to get those going in the next two or three minutes.
So we're just about to get going with our first 100 meter heat. So those of you who are staying around for the 100 meter races, we've got 11, 11 heats and we're hoping to get going very shortly and try and wrap up this evening's programme in, in the following 40 minutes. Well, just a reminder that the results are all up on the Just Timing site, justtiming.co.uk. Go to the Worthing Harriers Open and you'll be able to see all the results from the races up until now. 1500 metres, 200 metres and 400 metres. Just to remind you, the fastest of the 
400 metre heats that we've just seen was the first heat which was won by Jason Hoyle in a time of 48.21 seconds. Second, Charlie Baldwin, 49.85, and third, Luca Pig in 50.03. So that was the standout race in our 400 meter heats. Well, 72 athletes entered in our 100 meter heats. So six athletes entered for our first race. But uh, I'm just hearing that lane four is a non-starter. So we have got in lane two, Andre Wright. In lane three, Bailey Wright. Lane four is empty. In lane five, Matthew Overall, lane six, Alessio Anna, and in lane seven, Ethan Muirhead. Those are the five athletes that we'll expect in our first 100 meter heat of short lane. within the legal limits so those times will count and that's a very fast opening heat in our 100 meter races won by Andre Wright in 10.67 seconds. Those of you interested in records Got the county record down as 10.3 seconds. That goes back 37 years to Andy Parker, the Brighton Hove athlete. 10.3 seconds is the county record. And our opening heat run in 10.67 seconds.
So six athletes going in heat two, lane three, Alex Milligan is a non-starter. Athletes being pulled to their blocks. First heat of the 400 meters, and he goes in lane one of this 100 meter heat. still within the legal limit, 1.9 meters per second. Lane two, Victoria Anna Cornier C. Lane three, William Hawker, Rimney Valley. Lane four, Ethan Craven, Worthington District. Lane five, Reese Binns, Worthington District. Lane six, Seb Tucknut, Brighton and Hove. Lane seven, Jamie Gabidon, City of Portsmouth. Lane three, William Hawker is a non-starter. Close finish. It looked as though it was between two Worthing and District athletes in the middle two lanes. We'll see how the timekeepers separate then. And officially the winning time 11.38. Thank you. 
Races. We have got a batch of 100 meter races just for the men, and then when we get to race seven, we've got a mixed field, and then we've got some women's only races after that. So, three races completed. We're moving on now to race four with the start list. The names are up on the screen. Just a quick recap. The Heat 1 was won by Andre Wright. It's the fastest time this evening of 10.67 seconds. So we think we've got four athletes in. Five athletes, sorry, in. Four athletes going in race four. for Tobias Hawkins, a time of 11.24 seconds. Second place, Samuel Sherlock, 11.55 seconds. Third place, Jamie Arnold, 11.88. And fourth place, Ashton Taylor, 11.96 seconds. So good win for the Grand Nova athlete. Still in the under 23 age group. 11.24 seconds winning heat four. And we move on now to heat five. Medway and Maidstone athlete Andre Wright winning a sprint double tonight, winning the 200 metres in 22.01 and following that up with a win in the heat one of the 100 metres with a time of 10.67.
race five. Looks like we've got all seven athletes. We're just trying to sort out race five. There was a full start in that race, and I think we're going to move on to race six, and then we'll come back with confirmation of what is going to happen with the race that has just gone off, which was race five. So we're going to proceed now <laughs> with race six. And um, we're going to fit in race five in a few races time. We will announce that. But next up is race six. Seven athletes enter that as on the screen. Michael Shaw, Brighton Hove, Max Arnold, Brighton Hove. Russell Whiting, Worthingham District, Mark right. Hollins, Southampton AC, Kevin Craven, Worthingham District, Dylan Brudenell, East Road, Eastbourne Rovers, and Mark Vallier, Pool Runners. This is seven athletes. 
we've got in heat six of the 100 meters. So it looks like lane four is non-starter. Six athletes, lanes one, two, three, five, six, seven. So the results of heat six on the screen, Michael Short from Brighton Road taking the win in 11.88. Second place, Kevin Craven, 12.15. Third place, Dylan Brudenell, 12.18. Fourth, Russell Whiting, 12.20. Fifth, Mark Vallier, 12.44. And sixth, Alfie Spurl, 12.52. Seven is next up.
So the athletes being ready for the start of race seven on the program. All seven athletes being called to their blocks. one of our mixed races and the results will shortly be on the screen won by Tom Adell in 12.36 seconds first female across the line was Ruby Judge 12.64 seconds third was Daniel Shepherd 12.72 fourth Maine DRSO in 12.85 fifth Jordan Aconte in 12.89, Sick Louis Siemens in 12.91, and 7th Ruby Anning in Wind speed in the last heat, that was 2.5 meters per second. So we're now moving on to race eight. Race eight. And if you can see the screen, you'll see this is a all women's heat. Grace Wheeler in lane one, Emily Lucas in lane two, LMA Sprake in lane three, Fleur Hollier in lane four, Annabelle Honey in lane five, Amber Purcell in lane six, and Francesca Wormsley in lane seven. All seven athletes are being called to their blocks. Short Parliament District, time of 12.88 seconds. Second place, Emily Lucas from Aldershot Parliament District, in a time of 12.89 seconds. Third place, Grace Wheeler, in a time of 12.91 seconds. Fourth, Fleur Hollier, 13.29. Fifth, Francesca Warnsley, 13.50. Sixth place, Amber Purcell, 13.57. And 
in seventh place, LMA Sprake, 13.64. And the next race is going to be a rerun of race five, where we had the ball start. So hopefully the athletes have had some time to catch their breath. We had five athletes down for that race, or six. So a rerun of heat five. Looks like we have got seven athletes as on the screen. Max Arnold, Holly Turner, Rudy Kral, Danny Justiniani, Dominic Barth, Louis Dixon and Adam Hutchins. Another very close finish, that race. The win going to Dominic Barth. 11.65 seconds. Second place, Louis Dixon, 11.67. Third place, Danny Justiniani, 11.75. Fourth place, Max Arnold, 12.12. Fifth place, Holly Turner, 12.16. Sixth place, Rudy Corral, 12.41, and in the seventh, Adam Hutchins, 12.85. Well done to those athletes. So, our final three races of the evening. We've got race nine. So seven athletes going in race nine of the 100 metres.
like a very clear win for LG Bunny, I think. So Elodie Bradley winning 9 in 13.29 seconds. Second place, Madison Illsley, 13.68. Third place, Harriet Medlin, 13.70. Fourth, Aitlin Harvey, 13.81. Fifth, Jess Powell, 13.95. Sixth, Elizabeth Butcher, 14.5. So two races remaining in our series of 100 metre races. So just four athletes in race 10. Sorry, five athletes. Five athletes in race 10. athletes in lane three, Hannah Russell from Lewis AC, and the 15 athletes. I've got a time of 14.08 as her best time. Tonight she's run 13.88. So a good win for Hannah Russell. In a time of 13.88 seconds. Second place, Zoe Wright, 14.28 seconds. Third place, Catherine Brook, 14.45. Fourth, Kitty Crishaw, 14.59. And in fifth place, Madeline Vallier, in 14.71 seconds. That's the results of heat 10. And the wind, as you can see, has dropped 1.0 metres per second. And now we move to our final race of the evening, race 11. Away cleanly, five athletes. That's a good win for Finn and Mercury, remain three. The 
with the two Lewis athletes taking second and third. Villa Virtue winning that race 13.19. Paloma Buckley McDonald in second 13.86. Megan Harding in third place 14.00. Rachel Hopwood in 4, 14.86, and Joe Buckley in 5th in a time of 16.16. And that is the end of our races this evening. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks so much. I don't